Oh, welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing yet another power coupler experiment where I'm gonna try to build a rope bridge. I actually saw a handful of comments suggesting rope bridge, uh, which I think it's a natural conclusion to if something functions like rope on this channel, we're gonna try to build a bridge out of it and drive something across it. Actually, in my Discord, uh, Salty made a comment try saying, try to drive the heaviest car you can across it. So I think that'll be a fun test, and there's also like different there's different types of bridges we could do. I think I'm going to do like your standard rope bridge, not like a suspension bridge necessarily, but just where these are just lined from one side to the other. And then there's planks in between. Now, the thing is, I got to make sure that the planks are not attached to each other. Otherwise, it's just going to be a solid object that we can drive across. And it's not actually going to be like a flexi bendy rope bridge, which is what we really want. So in order for this to work as hopefully as intended, I am going to have to use these pipe connectors um, as a intermediate, as a, as a connection point between each segment of rope, because we need to be able to connect the two sides of the rope together with planks. How wide should the bridge be? Maybe like that wide, because we need to be able to fit a car on it, a heavy car. Actually, I think this right here might be the ideal plank length. Huh, plank length is also a physics thing. That makes sense. Yeah, four, because four is the length of one of these. All right. So then I should be able to copy this and paste it like that. Yeah. Now we have a modular thing that we can just copy and paste until we get to our maximum complexity. How long of a bridge can we make? Oh my goodness. Okay, too long. This is too long. All right, let's start with this. So I need this bridge to be anchored to the ground, and I also need a starting platform that I can spawn a vehicle on. So it looks like I could do like one, two, three. There we go. And then I don't know how high I'm going to... I don't know how much sag this bridge is going to have. How much sag do you think a bridge of this length is going to have? But well, let me put an anchor block. All right, how much sag? This is on maximum stiffness right now. Oh my goodness. That's way more than I was expecting for maximum stiffness. That's awesome, though. All right, this side's super solid. That side's not looking too good. That's cool. I'm definitely gonna have to build it higher. All right, I made it a lot higher now. Look at that. This, These are pretty cool. I don't like how one side works and the other side doesn't. Oh, I know what to do. I need to actually uh, solidify the bottom connection here. All right, this should be more stable now. Yeah, look at that. All right, problem solved. This is so cool. I'm definitely gonna make it longer. I'm gonna make it as long as I can. Before I even start with a car, let's just see what does the minimum stiffness look like in comparison to that. All right, stiffness, zero. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that is crazy. You can see how much... Wait, can you see how much more space is in between the blocks? Are there, is there more space in between the blocks? Because yeah, look at that. There's, there's definitely one block. And I go maximum stiffness. And it kind of maintains that one block. Oh, you can see the stretch. Okay. And then if I go back to zero stiffness. This is not zero stiffness. I just put it on zero stiffness. You saw that, right? It's on one stiffness. When I go back to zero stiffness. Oh, yeah. You can see how much more stretched out the gap is. That's like one and a half blocks now. All right, well, we might not be able to drive across a zero stiffness bridge, but let's uh, put the stiffness back up to maximum. Let me make it wooden. I'm going to make it like a wooden rope bridge. All right, now for a car. A car that we can modularly weight. It's just going to be a vehicle with a place for me to put weights, okay? It's not going to look super cool. Like, a, it's not going to look super realistic or anything, okay? All right, I got my little little truck here, and I can put a whole bunch of weights back there. I can put as much weight as I want to, pretty much. Uh, not as much as I want, but... I can put a decent amount back there. I can make this thing way heavier than it currently is, okay? So now I've got a bridge. This thing should be able to fit. It's actually, it's probably going to be kind of hard to control this, maybe. Potentially. But I should be able, oh my god, look how, oh, I should have made it a little bit wider. This is, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. Normal, I should have looked at the weight. Oh my god, this is actually not too bad. This is actually, no, whoa, the sideways. The sideways is unexpected. Why so sideways? But already works great. That's pretty cool. Let's go faster. Okay, going faster is not good. It's predictable. It's pretty like it, it wasn't the biggest surprise I've had in Trailmakers. This is a much easier perspective, but it's not as interesting to look at. I don't think. I mean, that was kind of cool, though. All right, let's go backwards again. I like this perspective better. I think this is the ideal perspective, but I can't tell if I'm falling off the bridge or not. As long as I'm going straight, though, I should be good. 
Oh, oh, see, I fell off a little bit there. That's a problem. All right, so how heavy is this vehicle? We are at 198 kilograms. Not a whole lot. So let's double it. I want to push this until no matter how slow I go, we can't get across the bridge. There's a chance we may not reach that point, but I feel like with just how this bridge works in general, the wheels are just going to mess up in the gaps, no matter, even if it wasn't like a, a power coupler bridge, any type of bridge, I feel like there's going to be a weight limit. But actually, before I start increasing the weight, let me, I just want, I have to do one test just to see, can we drive across the zero stiffness bridge, even at our minimum weight here? I think it's going to be really hard to get off that starting point and curve down that steep right away. I might bottom out or something. Okay, here we go. Minimum stiffness bridge. Oh my goodness, I can't slow down. Okay, so that that's the problem is like control. It's it's harder to control on this one. All right, I'm gonna do it from this perspective just because I need that extra precision and control. And I'm gonna try to like break. Oh my goodness. That's not what kind of breaking I meant. I mean, surprisingly nothing actually really, the bridge stayed intact. All right, let's try again. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, oh, whoa, we're looking good. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got a, like a weird feedback. Like it, it, it suddenly spiked and hit me up. All right, well, I think we determined that zero stiffness bridge is just not good bridge, bad bridge. Zero stiffness is bad. Let's put maximum stiffness again. All right, so now let's increase our weight. I'm gonna double it. I'm gonna say this is 200 kilograms. So let's get up to 400. We got those and there we go. 400 kilograms, double the weight. How much weight can this bridge take? Place your bets now. How much weight until I can no longer drive across? I'm gonna say like 1200. It could probably go more. I'm gonna say 2500. Oh boy, that wasn't the best spawn point. All right, I'm going for it though. All right, double the weight. Whoa. Okay, I think I may have gone too far with 2500, but I'm gonna stick with it anyway. But just seeing how much of a difference in the sag, the bridge sag on that. Uh oh, oh, I'm falling off, I'm falling off. <laughs> The side wobbles is so cool. I'm just gonna go in uh, factors of two, so we're gonna double again. 400, we should go up to 800. So there we go. We have now got an 800 kilogram thing. All right, 800 kilograms. There we go. Whoa, whoa, okay. See, like, it didn't break. That wasn't like a breaking issue. And you know, I'm gonna modify this. We need to get rid of our front bumper in order to give ourselves the best chance here. This has to be like a snubby nose because we need these wheels to be able to maintain contact. All right, there we go. That looks much better. This is gonna be easier. Okay, here we go. 800 kilograms again. I'm gonna go a lot slower. See, like it instantly reacts way stronger as soon as I start weighting it. And then that's the problem is like it gets steep. Oh! Whoa, what is going on? This is actually kind of hard. This is actually kind of hard. This is a maximum stiffness too. Uh oh, I broke the center. It's like, I don't feel like this is, I don't feel like we've reached the limit of the bridge. It's just become like, there's an extra difficulty that's been introduced into the system with the side to side. I mean, I guess like real rope bridges can wobble side to side, especially if it's like windy and stuff, or if you get on it and start rocking it. But I mean, they're also not generally meant for vehicles. Oh, uh, see, what is that? Is 800 really the limit? All right, well, you know what? Maybe 800 is like a weird thing. I'm gonna go up by another, however much this happens to be. We're going from 800 to 1,000. All right, here we go, 1,000. What if miraculously 1,000 ends up being better? 1,000, oh my goodness. It's not until the back wheels get on that you really see the weight. My front is super light, but then the back, the back has all the weight. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, I really thought we were gonna get so much farther. Is there anything to reduce the wobble though? I don't think there is. Anything that we do to reduce the wobble is, the side to side wobble is also going to, uh, it's going to interfere with the flex. I was really thinking it was gonna be the vertical flex that was gonna be the problem issue, but I didn't really think about the side to side wobble, which in my early testing of the power couplers, it's not really surprising when you think about it because they have way more side lateral flex than compression versus stretching. Here's one thing I can do. I'm gonna keep the rope, I'm gonna keep the uh, bridge the same length right now, but I want to widen it. Oh yeah, I feel way more comfortable with this, but let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh my goodness, no! Oh, it wobbles so much! It's so wobbly. Why are you so wobbly? Why are you gonna be like that? Okay, I'm gonna just try one more time here. Do I go fast or slow? Oh, I'm just gonna go. 
I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Uh... <laughs> Rope bridge physics. In trail makers specifically. Does not apply to real life. Real life experience may vary. Well, if it's already failing at this length, the only thing left to do is make it longer. All right, I made it a little bit longer as long as I could. I'm at 689 out of 700 complexity, so I cannot add another segment. So let's reduce the weight. Let's um, let's have this as our new starting point. I'm just gonna get rid of the weight. We're gonna go back to 200 kilograms. I put a little bit of cargo in to make it exactly 200 kilograms. All right, so this is a longer bridge. It has a handful more segments, so it should sag more. And whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, man, it's actually a lot harder than I was expecting. This sideways wobble was not something I thought about much going into this video. I really thought it was just gonna be uh, stretching downwards. All right, but clearly it is doable at 200 kilograms exactly. All right, but if I go like super slow though. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, we're getting like different results. It seems like the slower you go, it just starts to freak out just suddenly. Like it's fine. And then suddenly it just starts super wobbling. All right, going, if going slow does that, let's just, I'm just gonna try to casually just like go at like a normal speed through, throughout the whole, okay, see that, that little bump. As soon as that bump happens, we're done. All right, you know what? I'm gonna give this thing suspension. I highly doubt this is the problem, but just maybe the vehicle having suspension will make a difference in that, like avoiding that, that bump that happens. All right, more flexible parts have been added to the system. What could go wrong? Let's see what happens. Oh. I am going to attribute that to luck. And I highly, highly doubt the suspension is the reason I succeeded that I succeeded that time. What? No way, this is the suspension. Even with the bump, it didn't go into a wobble? Does the suspension actually make a difference? I was like, there's no way this is gonna make a difference, but somebody's gonna say you should have done it, so I'm doing it. And now it's working. <laughs> time to add more weight. I'm only gonna go up a little bit this time. I'm gonna go up by 200. We're gonna go, oh no, because I made different, I'm lighter. That could be the only, that could be the difference. Okay, if I'm lighter, I gotta get back to my other weight. All right, there we go. Back to exactly 200 kilograms. What if that's the magic number that makes this not work for whatever reason? Okay, here we go. 200 kilograms with suspension. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was about to not work, but you know what? Technically, I'm on the other side. The bridge is intact. Let's try a little bit of a reverse. That looks fine. I think it really matters whether or not the wheels glitch through because my wheels like did that little glitch and then that like ruined everything. See like that right there. That seems to ruin everything. However, not when I have suspension. So let's bump it up. I'm gonna bump it up by 100. There we go, we're at 300 exactly. I like how we're using nice round numbers now. All right, 300 kilograms. I think I can do it. There we go. Oh, I went too fast. It's working, the suspension. The suspension's a winner. Okay, so 400 total now. And this is the longer bridge, remember? So, let's see. No way. This is crazy how much of a difference it made. All right, 400 is a success. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. 500 kilograms. Oh, it like it almost went, almost went horizontal, but it's still working. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. this is kind of fun, because I just don't. I have no idea what to expect with this. All right, 600. I think we failed at 600 before, didn't we? All right, I don't. I feel like this is gonna be the failure. I feel. I feel like we're right there. We're right at the edge of the failure point. This could be over it. All right, I'm impressed. Oh, wait, oh no, I'm stuck. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. I should have done monster truck wheels maybe. All right, but that worked. 600, successful. 700, okay. 700, oh my goodness, it's feeling very heavy now. But it is another success. 
we're kind of barely having enough grip to get up the other side with how weighted we are. But we're moving up now 800 kilograms. Okay, this is where we failed before. On the shorter bridge. Will the suspension save it? No! 800 is the magic number. Oh, no. All right, I'm gonna try again, though. You think I'm gonna let that get to me? You think I'm gonna let one failure hold me back? All right, I'm not gonna go fast, but I'm gonna roll a little bit more. Like that. Look at this. No, oh, I thought we had it. Oh, I thought we had it. Attempt number three with 800 kilograms. Look at that. It just, it goes literally completely out from underneath me. All right, attempt number four. Ooh, that was a bad one. That was the worst one yet. Last attempt at 800 kilograms. Oh, I got so hopeful. You can see it in my face. I was like, we're doing it, but we didn't do it. All right, could be wheel type. So we, we changed suspension and it made a huge difference. Now let's change wheel type. See if that makes a huge difference. Now, the reason why I'm going with monster truck wheels is because they are a lot better at like the off-road climbing aspect, which wasn't what was our problem here. But there could be other another variation. Oh, how's our weight now? 840. So let's keep things consistent. We were at 800 kilograms. Let's get ourselves a back to 800 kilograms. Okay, here we go. Oh, that felt bad. That felt really bad. And for this one, I'm gonna do at least one or two more tries just to make sure it wasn't uh, that wasn't like an off chance thing. Okay, 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 no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. Come on, come on. Nope. Okay, here we go. I'm just letting it roll. And yeah, there's no, there's no way. The weight is too much. The bridge sway is just too much. We couldn't do it. So 700 kilograms though, we could do. 800, we could not do. So I definitely had higher hopes for this bridge, but I just failed to consider the side to side sway that would be incorporated. I really just thought it was gonna be how stretched down is it gonna get? And can I get up the other side without falling in between the gaps? It'd be interesting to try to do like a suspension bridge. I don't quite know exactly how to build that yet. Um, and have it look nice and function similarly to an actual suspension bridge. But if you have any other ideas or other experiments that you'd like to see me try with the power couplers, uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.